Hello everybody and welcome to T. Jones Gaming. My name is Tori and today we are setting our lineup for uh, Fantasy Football Week 6. And this week we are going to be up against Deacon Blues who is currently in 7th place uh, with a record of 2-3-0. and oh. We of course are in 11th place with a record of 1-4-0. and oh. So the first thing I want to do is we're going to change our name. Because the week when we had a name that wasn't like making fun of the other team we did we won so i don't know how the universe works but today we are going to call ourselves humble pie and maybe that humility will allow us to put more points on the board okay name changed humble pie and um right now deacon blues is projected to win but we have some changes we can make that are going to uh, affect that so let's look at our, our update on Cam Newton. If healthy, Cam Newton should bounce back on Sunday against a Soft Saints secondary. That's allowed three 300-yard passers in their first four games. So Cam Newton concussion upgraded to full. He is going to start Sunday's game against the Saints. And then here it also says he's practicing, which is good. He didn't practice the week before and that's how they knew for sure he wasn't going to play because he hadn't practiced at all so the practice confirms he did not suffer a setback after returning to work wednesday uh, he might still have a few hurdles to clear in the percussion concussion protocol but newton is on track to play against the saints so he will be an elite quarterback in this matchup Great. So we are going to put him back in. He's projected to score 26.8 points, which is way more than poor old Ryan Fitzpatrick. So, boom. Cam Newton back in the lineup. Now let's look at Julio Jones against Seattle. So coming off suboptimal optimal performance, he'll face another tough matchup Sunday against the Seahawks. Week 6 versus Seattle. Given Seattle has given up the third fewest fantasy points to wide receivers this season, which is not good for us. I mean, yay Seattle, but not great for our fantasy football. Um, Julio Jones knee will return to practice on Thursday. Coach Dan Quinn expects him to be limited. Um, but this is the one that I saw earlier. ESPN Seahawks reporter Shell Capadia believes it is likely Richard Sherman will shadow Julio Jones this week. Sherman followed Brandon Marshall around the field week four, so it would be surprising if he did not do the same with Jones coming to town this week. Uh, Marshall was able to make a few plays on Sherman, and Julio is a must-start, so he's a must-start every time he touches the field. Well, you know, still it is a downgrade for Jones, so we have to play him. Let's not kid ourselves about that, but it's going to be a tough week for Julio Jones. Now, Steve Smith Sr., he is out. He's not projected to play this week so we're going to switch him out we have um jeremy macklin on our bench steven uh, stefan diggs has a bye week so we're going to swap out steve smith senior with um jeremy macklin Le'Veon bell of course we're going to start him james white i think is our best bet but let's take a look let's let's take a look at um who's available. I mean, I don't think there's going to be anyone on the waiver wire, but you never know. So some guys on the injured reserve, guy that's out. Okay, let's take a look at picking up Derek Henry. Who are we going to get rid of here? Yeah, let's let's get rid of Bill Palau. Or Bilal Powell, excuse me. So I hate when they don't go through right away. But in any event, let's look at some running backs again and then we'll look at tight ends all right let's look at tight ends and we're gonna look at Dwayne Dwayne Allen okay so he's actually on the board here so he's on the ESPN board but not on the NFL we can switch these guys around There's James White I just don't have that much confidence because I'm looking at maybe putting a tight end into that slot, which is probably maybe not the best move, but I mean maybe it would work. But I, I don't know when our waiver wire stuff is going to go through. 
and nobody down to like Virgil Green. Virgil Green. ESPN's projecting four points. And NFL's not even putting him on the board. So we got Delaney Walker. He's pretty far up there. Well, let's go ahead and try and add Dwayne Allen and let's drop Josh Brown because we just, I like that Justin Tucker. I'm not sure when we have to, when that trade's going to go through. So for now, I'm going to end the video right here for now. Um, and I might add on to it if that transfer goes through. Well, our waiver wire uh, requests weren't able to go through before the game started. Uh, but fortunately, we did get an alert from Yahoo letting us know to uh, that Minnesota, the Vikings defense had a bye week, which we almost forgot to change. So fortunately, we were able to get the uh, Vikings swapped out with the, the New York uh, defense. So our lineup for week six is Cam Newton, Julio Jones, Jeremy Macklin, Le'Veon Bell, Ryan Matthews, Delaney Walker, James White, our kicker, of course, Justin Tucker, and uh, the New York Jets defense. So I think we should do all right this week, especially with a name like Humble Pie. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to the channel so that uh, you'll make sure to see the results. And until next time, take it easy.